hello everyone uh, in this lecture video I am going to explain uh, uh, one of the basic questions which is asked uh, for analog layout design interviews uh, you, you will be given to uh, 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 a schematic something like this you know there is uh, some moss uh, let's say m1 this is m1 and this is m2 and uh, they are connected in cas cascade like this and now the bulk connection the bulk of uh, this first mosfet is connected like this and the bulk of the second mosfet is connected like this now how would you view this uh, in a layout how would you do this in the layout um, and the main thing to understand here is uh, you know what the main thing is to understand the bulk connections how are the bulks to be connected remember uh, let's say these are two n mosses okay so when i say n mosses uh, when i say n moss they will have a single p substrate correct so my assumption is that these two mosfets you know they this is the first mosfet let's say and this is my second mosfet this is my m1 and this is my m2 so if this both mosfets have they are having the same substrate you know they can be easily be they can be easily fabricated but remember this bulk has also it has some connection based on the circuit for example if you look at uh, the bulk of the m1 that is b1 and the bulk of m2 is uh, b2 they are connected to different places for example this bulk goes somewhere here and uh, for simplicity let's say this is ground okay so let's say this bulk okay this bulk is connected to ground so if both the moss are in the same substrate the bulk connection both the bulk are connected to ground so actually what you have done is uh, you have connected this also to ground if you do this layout so if the bulk connections are different actually it means that you cannot have the same bulk that is actually what it means so what you are supposed to do is uh, you have to separate the bulk of this mosfet for example if uh, this is a p substrate i can have you know uh, i cannot have different moss here for example let's say this m2 the bulk is connected to ground so this bulk uh, let's say this is m2 uh, let this 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 moss here let it be in the same substrate but this moss i mean i need to sub i need to separate the bulk so for that i have to create a, a separate uh, you know well inside uh, the piece of so what i have to do is mm, i actually have to oh, sorry i actually have to create uh, uh, i have to create a well inside the piece substrate i have to create a well n well but remember this is n moss so this is n and this is n so inside n well i have to again create a p okay and uh, this well like uh, uh, you know this well is called as the dp n well so, dp n well so this is how we uh, i can you know separate the bulks of the mosfet i if the bulk connections are different uh, so so that's about it uh, so the main idea is uh, to to make you understand whether you are very much clear about how the bulks are and uh, can you visualize this in the form of a actual layout so remember uh, that uh, the basic idea is uh, whether the bulks are connected together or not connected if they are not connected together we cannot have a single bulk correct for example like this we cannot have a single bulk we have to separate the bulks uh, similar questions can be something like this i would i would, I would uh, i will leave this uh, for the audience if i have two p moses like this okay and the bulk of this is let's say this is vdd and this is second p mos this is m1 and m2 how do how do you view this in the layout
how would you separate this layout so you can you can just uh, take some time and answer on your own the hint is uh, um, because it is pmos and the pmos are inside uh, housed inside a yen substrate so you will already have a so you will already have a yen well oh, i'm sorry you will already have a yen well so but this two moss so this moss fits this is the first moss and uh, this is the second moss this is your m1 and this m2 so this n well is the bulk so if i connect the same bulk to i cannot connect this to vdd because only m1 bulk is connected to vdd but m2 bulk is connected somewhere else so i need to separate i need to give a separate bulk to this guy this guy needs to have a separate bulk so just think over it how we can separate remember that because uh, this one um, because it is a pmos this is p plus okay uh, so how will you separate it so because we have a n well you have to do something with p and then you have to do something with the n and only then we can do p type of doping i hope this was helpful if you still have any kind of questions which you want me to answer you can post it in the comment section thank you